As public concern surrounding genetically modified food continues to grow, U.S. consumers have become much more conscious about what they're eating. But if you're among the millions of Americans buying processed food that is labeled natural, a new revelation about what you are digesting may be hard to swallow. They do not believe that people should have a right to know what's in the food that they eat. And that is why they have spent hundreds of millions of dollars in lobbying and campaign contributions. Seven billion people today and nine billion people by 2050 hope to be sustained by this tiny sliver. That's why getting the most out of this land is so important. And it's why Monsanto is dedicated to sustainable agriculture. Scientists in those countries speak very clearly that there are zero, there's no evidence of harm from these products. And there is mandatory testing in by the FDA here. The first cancer patient to take Monsanto, one of the world's largest pesticide companies to court, wins his case to the tune of $289 million. Genetically modified foods are dangerous. We know what the risks are. Scientists since the very beginning, starting with the FDA scientists, said that we're going to see nutritional differences, we're going to see foods with toxins in them, and these foods are going to be more allergenic than normal foods. The biggest food companies in America are starting to come to us and ask to get their products non-GMO project verified, which is really exciting because ultimately it means the consumer wins and they have more access to non-GMO choices. Here's what I'll do as president. I'll immediately implement country of origin labeling because Americans should know where their food comes from. We could have waited. We could have put it anywhere in the world. Several hundred jobs on top of the thousands. We aren't waiting. We're going ahead. We're going to use American hard work and American brains and we're going to fight for the Dow company out of the USA.